point is is that what well, I can't, i'm proud of you for vocalizing you know what we can't what if what if again what if you have a hot night on the town and like she's amazingly gorgeous and he's amazingly hot with that star-studded sweater he has on i don't know what you can't have sex with him you gotta have self-control that's just gonna create tension what that you can't do it that you have to accept it i don't know i struggle with that i need a picture of the star-studded sweatshirt i know i've, I've seen it i own one it's in my closet oh my god i bet you and i bet you it's super wrinkly yeah i know your clothing is just much to be desired we're gonna get this boy all wrapped up he's gonna be like a perfect little bow <laughs> well you just you showed up yesterday and you were just to the nines i was like who's this guy marriage changes me it <laughs> changed uh, you two sorry, weeks new sorry. wardrobe Done. marriage uh changes a person that was really improper english there Marry marriage uh changes a person i believe uh, it can change them for the worst and treat them. They can be treated. They can treat themselves as a player because now you know they're big whoop with a woman or or with a man or whatever. Um, there's a sense of maturity that that I feel like I've truly gained. And I, again, two weeks in or whatever, it's just there's a maturity. My life I feel is not just my life. It's also my my wife's life. We share a life together. You know, we're giving 100% to this. There's 50-50 at the same time where we're both giving 100, but it's a 50-50 relationship at the same time. Giving 100, if that makes any sense. Does that make, does that make sense? Yeah, I can do math. Okay, just making sense. Just, yeah, sorry, sorry. yeah you're, not, uh, you're not the mathematician in the room. I'm Actually, not. neither am I. Quite frankly, I'm not even going to lie. So, you know, I, I, I'm just a little to, better to, than you, apparently. To wrap this up, I don't know if you had any more questions for me, but to wrap this up. Oh, I up, have so many questions, but we're already getting close to our time zones. But I, I want to reiterate the importance of um, uh, contraception and that unless you've got some uh, religious reason behind it. Um, and see, I don't, I don't judge that at all. Like, like obviously, as, as you not, should not. I don't. I as don't. You like, should not. You know, yeah. I, I don't tell my friends. You I know, don't expect you to drop condoms yeah. from you know a, a helicopter all in, in every high school that is in yeah. Los Angeles. But but I respect that freedom of like if that's what you believe, then do it. I'm gonna like you and hang out with you. You know, again, my best friend is an agnostic slash atheist almost, and. You know, he's told me shit that I don't believe, and I'm like, hey, I'm going to love you no matter what. Well, and that's you know? one of the things that's so wonderful about you. You you, you are non-judgmental, even though you come from a religion that is judgmental. Well, religion in general is judgmental, as far as I'm concerned. Um, and, and that's my voice. That's my that's my my speak. Of course. Uh, I don't I don't agree with you on that. But, and that's fine. But but I understand what you... I understand. I'll put it right. that way. I understand Yeah, yeah. You, you get it. You understand it. it. You respect it. Whether you agree with it or not is... Up, I, it, I get it. Sure. And that's we, the same we, thing. Like, we, I think that you yep. being Catholic is stupid only because I just don't believe in religion. But I respect you and love you because you are and because you are so fervent and so faithful in your religion. So I can't say... I don't, no, I, I don't I think you're it. stupid. You know well, what I, I mean. It. Yeah, I get it. You know what I mean? I, get, I just I get really it. struggle with it because I feel that there are a lot of people, like for myself, I'll speak for myself. I'm not even going to speak for anybody else. I'm speaking for me. I know that religion fucked me up so bad. I mean, and it still does to this day. So I, uh, uh, and I'm incredibly challenged with it. Uh, I don't like it. I'm a, I'm uncomfortable. It makes me angry. It frustrates me because it screwed up so many things when I was a little girl. It screwed up things in when I was a young adult. And it's screwing things up in my 40s. And so, uh, it, uh, no, I feel you. I, I do. But I, I think that it's really important for me to actually, you know, to, to wrap this puppy up here. Uh it is important for us to be safe um, in anything that we do. Uh, you know, two episodes ago or what have you, we were talking about online dating and safety. And and I think that, you know, contraception falls into the safety category as well. So, you know, please just be careful. Don't use abortion as the way to get out of things. If you're not ready to have kids, please be safe. Like, there's all kinds of reasons that contraception is, is, is good. We'll, you know, we'll discuss, we've, we'll discuss abortion in depth Oh, later. God, we have to have, yeah. yeah, we're going to have episodes that are specifically dedicated to this because we've covered actually a lot more ground than I thought we were going to cover today. It kind of went a little different. I thought I was going to get more dirty Debbie on you. No, uh, because, again. But you should see my notes. It's not pretty. No, I know, I know. You're really and, glad that and, I did it. And, uh, uh, yeah, and, <laughs> And I know I'm going to get more as we continue to sure. continue on with sure. this uh, conversation because this is a ongoing conversation. It's not like you know this is obviously this is like um, 
uh, just an overview of what I know what I'm going to be, the questions I'm going to be getting as we continue on talking about sure. sex, talking yeah. about, you know, what sex all entails. We both have a lot to say in regards to it, but there's so many things. There's a little housekeeping stuff here. So um, follow us. We are officially live and kicking and distributing and we are on Spotify. We are on Google Play. We are on Apple. We're on Stitcher. We're on Player FM, SoundCloud, RSS feed, depending upon how you consume your podcast, please do search for us uh, and uh, love us, share us, rate, review, subscribe, and please, please, please uh, join us on social media. We just need you guys to talk to us. Yes, we want all your stories, whether it's outrageous, it's messed up, whatever, and not sticky and all that. It's weird for me, but maybe for Lindsay, for her inbox is great. All about sex. What's going on with you guys? I mean, you can send us anything again. Just no dick pics for the love of God. I can stand behind that 100%. Mm-mm. Just yeah. no dick pics. No dicks. No you fannies. Know, not, no, nothing. Just please. Again, Just no pics. No pics. No pics. Uh, um, and I definitely want to hear what you guys have to say about Catholicism and contraception and the I whole... I want to hear about contraception, actually. I want to hear about all of it. Yeah. I, okay. we, we want to hear about all of it. So please shoot us an email. We both get the email address or we both check the, the email address. Uh, talk to us at almostbearpodcast.com. Um, and uh, please don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe. All right.